On the line, I have Sarah McLaughlin. How are you today? I'm good. Thank you. How are you? I am doing well. You're currently on the road supporting that brand new album, Shine On. How's the tour going? Uh, fantastic. We just finished three shows. We were in Australia for a little bit, and this is the last leg of our American tour. And um, it's really fun. I've got some new musicians this time out, and uh, we basically had two and a half days to rehearse. And they are incredible. They came knowing every single song, and uh, they're beautiful players, and it's a lot of fun. I mean, we have a pretty interactive show. We, we uh, get questions from the audience, and we have folks come up on stage and hang out with us. I sort of brought my living room with me. Wow. And, um, yeah, a couple times throughout the, the, the show, we have to, uh, it's an evening with, so there's two sets. And so twice we get a bunch of folks to come and hang out with us. And, uh see what it's like to be up on stage, and I go over and talk to them. We take pictures, and it's just kind of a way to further, you know, uh, create less of a boundary between us being up on stage and the audience being, you know, in the audience. It's like, because for me, when you're, when you're making music, it's, uh, it's sort of a very inclusive, we're all in it together kind of thing. Sure, sure. Uh, yeah, plus it just gives your fans just uh, an incredible night. Well, I think it, yeah, it is something special that not everybody does, and that was sort of a big part of it. You know, I, I guess originally we were, you know, looking at, at pre-sales and stuff like that, thinking that was going to be a special good thing, and really all it did was entice a bunch of scalpers to get the tickets first and, mm-hmm. and then actually charge people even more for the tickets, which was terrible and completely the opposite of what we wanted to do. So the, the whole living room scenario was sort of created out of, you know, out of that where it's like, no, we're going to do something that just the fans care about, and it's just for the fans. Very cool. Now, uh, congratulations on the success of your new album, uh, already nominated for awards for Artist of the Year and Adult Contemporary Album of the Year for Juno Awards. Uh, How's that feel? It feels awesome. You know, I mean, I I love this record. Um, I I worked worked my tail off to to get it done and and to make it as as good as it possibly could be, and um, I'm super proud of it. I love playing the songs live. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's been, it's been a great ride. I mean, we've been, we've pretty much been touring since May, since I released it of last year. And, um, it's been a lot of fun. What was the inspiration for the album? Um, I guess the easiest answer would be life and the the fact that life gets lumpy (laughs) sometimes. (laughs) And, um, yet, you know, for me, I'm a really positive person and I'm always trying to find the silver lining and things. So, um, you know, I write a lot about my emotional response to things, but, you know, especially tough stuff that, you know, we all go through. Um, and I guess for me, writing is pretty cathartic. It's sort of my, my, my way of making sense of the chaos and sort of trying to, trying to put some sort of, uh, framework around it so that I can make sense, sure. make sense of it and, and move on a little bit. But, you know, so I mean, I lost my dad a couple of years ago and that, that's a, a really a big change in my life. Um, I got divorced a bunch of years ago and then met someone new and, um, you know, fell back, fell in love, and that was a wonderful thing. And so I think, you know, there, there's there's a real journey in there of, you know, going from this place of, of real, you know, change and and conflict to, to places of feeling really strong and, uh, you know, have worked, have worked hard to get back to that place and feeling really positive about life and, and wanting to and realizing how, how beautiful it is and, and being grateful for every day. That's awesome. Now, you know, when you're writing your album, do you start with the music or for, uh, do you do the lyrics first? It's pretty much always music and melody first. Yeah. And the, the lyrics tail behind, yeah. Okay. Uh, I want to take you back. Uh, tell me if, uh, if you were there, you know, one thing, you know, back when you were you know, a young lad uh, uh, that got you to say, you know what, I want to be a musician. Well, you know, there was a def- there was a defining moment in the sense that um, you know I've been playing music my whole life. I did a- years of classical lessons. Um, I did a lot of classical recitals where you had to show up and you know play play pieces in front of people that really didn't want to hear you. They just wanted to hear their own kid. Mm. Um, so, the- in a way, it prepared me. Um, the very first gig I ever did, I was 17 years old, and I was playing with, a, I guess you call it a new wave band, and we were doing some originals and some covers. And I got up on stage so nervous, not knowing what to expect, and there was 400 people there, and, you know, halfway through our, our gig, they were all dancing and smiling and it, totally engaged with us and having this amazing connection. And I just thought, oh, man, this is the 
best drug in the world. <laughs> That's what I want to do <laughs> for I the rest to, of my I, life. I want to do this every day for the rest of my life, you know, and I'm just so lucky that I kind of got to do that. And, and really, because of that first gig, you know, because the same guys who, who saw me then and wanted me to join their band uh, had a record company in Vancouver, and they eventually signed me. Wow, that's crazy. Now, the tour, yeah. the tour is ongoing right now. What's the plan once the tour gets off the road? Um, well, I have a, almost 8 and almost 13-year-olds. Actually, I will have a 13-year-old when I get off the road. And uh, I'm going to stay home for a while and um, just be a full-time parent. Cool. And I, I also have a free music school that I run in Vancouver. I've been running at 13 years, so um, that's a, another a fairly significant part-time job that I'm sure. involved in. Um, you know, and I'm just going to write and uh, see what comes next. All right, sounds good. Uh, let's see, for those that have never seen a Sarah McLaughlin show before, what are they in for? Um, well, I've mentioned the Q&A and the, the folks coming up on the couch. I mean, obviously, um, I think we have a great live show. We've got great musicians, and uh, I do a lot of the new record. I also do a lot of old stuff. Um, you know, and I try and sort of intersperse the new stuff with the old because I know people might not be that familiar with it. So, um, you know, I, I'm very cognizant of giving my fans this, the music that they want. You know, I mean, I play, I, I hope I play most of the stuff that everybody wants to hear, you know, that they sort of expect to hear. Sure, sure. I'm not, I'm not, one, I'm not one of those artists that goes, I'm not going to play my old stuff. I'm just going to play my new record, some weird stuff you've never heard of. <laughs> like, no, I. <laughs> You know, I'm I'm fully aware of what people want to hear, so very um, good. I do I do my best to uh, to do that. All right, fun questions. You can have dinner with three people, live or dead. Who would they be? Uh, is this all at the same time or one after the other? Uh, all at the same time. Oh my goodness, um, Oscar Wilde, um, Jimi Hendrix. Okay. Um, oh, wait a minute, they could be live. Um, Let's see. Hillary Clinton. I think that'd be a great combination. That would be a wild <laughs> dinner party right there, I think. <laughs> now, you've been performing music for years now. Any spinal tap moments happen to you? Oh, shit, yeah. Oh, sorry. I must have That's all right. Uh, <laughs> yeah, all the time. Give me, um, give me a great one. It's just silly little things like getting lost in the bowels of the building and, uh, <laughs> you know, Opening the opening the door to find the broom closet and was like, where am I? I gotta get, I gotta get up on stage. Usually that's not during show time. Usually that's like in the middle of the afternoon. Right. You know, by the end of the end of the day, I know the venue really well. But you know, the first couple hours, you're like, I don't know where catering is. I don't know where you know. <laughs> I did my laundry somewhere and now I can't find the laundry machines. Oh, that's you know, gotta yeah, be but, frustrating. Yeah, it happens all the time. Luckily, there's always people around, and they'll just go, oh, yeah, it's on the third floor. You're on the second floor. But, oh, right. Okay, nice. thank you. Nice. All yeah. right, fill in the blanks. <laughs> people would be surprised to know this fact about me. Uh, I don't know how surprising, but I swear too much. You swear too much? Okay. Have a little yeah. potty mouth? I, ha I have as well. I know exactly I can, yeah, how Yeah, I got to like. really curb it around the kids. So. <laughs> me too. Uh, if I if you, if you, I have an hour if you have an hour to yourself, what would you do? Uh, if it could be anything, I'd go surfing. Surfing, cool. That would be fun. Uh, if I wasn't in music, I'd be broke. <laughs> 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 I'd be a starving artist of some sort for sure. Okay. Uh, if you could have a superpower, what would it be? Oh, I could fly. Fly, all right, sounds great. It's pedestrian, I think everybody says that, but I totally would love to fly. Fly would be awesome. I, although yeah. I'm, a, I'm scared of flying, so I, I don't know if I could do it. You know, if it was just me flying, though, maybe I could do it. It's, yeah, you can, you're, you're in control. Exactly. That'd be good. It's the whole airplane thing that scares me. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> hurtling 30,000 feet above the air in a metal box. Right, exactly. Crazy. Anyway, yeah. show is this Friday at the Orpheum Theater. Sarah, it has been a pleasure talking with you, and we look forward to seeing you this Friday. Thank you. Me too. All right. Thanks so much, Sarah. All right. Take care. You